Hello, we're thinking here back with another episode of Ill 2 Sturmovic, the Battle of Normandy. Dan Valentine has had to rest and recuperate for 18 days. He was transferred to Holmesley South during the interim of his recuperation. And D-Day has come and gone. It is now the 22nd of June. We are flying from Holmesley South today to the area uh, around the peninsula that houses Cherbourg. We're going to be doing a flight uh, combat air patrol for our boys there as they try to capture Cherbourg. We, during our recuperation time, we also was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. So they gave us that while we were uh, recuperating, I guess, for our efforts. So let's jump into the campaign and get started. All right. This is uh, Flight Warcraft. We are... In, in honor of our uh, Distinguished Flying Cross, they have decided to make Dan Valentine flight lead for this flight. And so that's great. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for takeoff here. Put our rudder trim to 6 degrees right, 20 degrees flapped. The flap's not strictly necessary, but uh, it is what it calls for in the book. So we're going to go for it. All right, I think we're ready. RPM's at full. Okay, let's let's take off. All right, our first opportunity to be flight lead, and we are going to get this bird in the air. Flight Warcraft. All right. There we go. All right, we are wheels up. Landing gear coming up. Navigation lights off. We got a great uh, rate of climb. Laps up. There we go. Fantastic. Wow, the turbulence is pretty rough right now. Let's get our rudder trim back to zero. There we go. All right, where are we headed? We are heading pretty much due south. We do have to fly a little bit to the east here. And we're going to uh, trim back our engine to cruise here. There we go. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to fly up to uh, Brockenhurst, and then we're going to fly due south to Cherbourg, just to the south of Cherbourg there. So there's Brockenhurst right below us. So let's go ahead and start turning to the south. And we're going to uh, fly across the channel, get feet wet, and then fly past Cherbourg, which is held by the Axis. The last part of the Cherbourg Peninsula that is still held is the city itself. The Allies have captured the rest of it. So we are going to hopefully contribute to the capture of the city itself and uh, liberate that portion of western France. All right. So we need to be heading to 178. So I'm going to go ahead and get that dialed in here. It's so much better to be leading the flight instead of following somebody. <laughs> so I was glad to see that uh, they came to their senses and made Dan Valentine the, uh, the flight lead for that. What is our target height for this? 74, 75. All right, so we're going to be doing some pretty aggressive climbing on the way down. And uh, so I will see you guys when we get across the channel or if we come into uh, contact with the enemy. All right, we are coming up on feet dry over Cherbourg Peninsula here. There's Cherbourg over to the right. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. We are coming in at uh, 7,400 feet, about uh, 300 miles per hour. So far, no enemy contacts, but uh, Cherbourg is held by the enemy, so we do have to be careful 
not to fly over there and get uh, hit by enemy any aircraft fire you can see uh, my buddies on the radar there we can't see myself on the radar but see them um, so we're gonna keep flying a little bit south here and do our patrol route and I will see you guys when we come into contact with the enemy all right I got some contacts at 12 o'clock one, two, three. They're really tiny right now. So it's hard to say how many. I'm going to go ahead and break a little bit to the right. And we are going to do a little bit of climbing. See if we can get an altitude advantage on these guys here. I'm going to tell my boys just to stay with me for a moment. Alright, keep covering me. And then just uh, do a little bit of climbing. Let's get up to about 9,000 if we can. 9,000 feet. Boy, we have a little bit of a height advantage on these guys. I don't know what they are yet. It could be uh, strike craft or they could be like Focke Wolves or 190s or, uh, or 109s. Excuse me. I'm not sure. There is an airfield directly below us. That's probably what they're targeting at the moment, perhaps. I don't know. Alright. Okie dokie. One, two, three. They're just three? I thought that's four. Alright, they're flying to the east. So, I don't know if they're on their way to attack something or if they are on their way back from attacking something. So, we're just going to go see if we can engage with these guys. Alright, so there is four of them. I, I do see four now. Okay. I'm thinking these are fighters. They're really quick. They seem to be keeping away from keeping their distance from us, unfortunately. Having trouble catching them. So I might just put a little more fuel in the fire here. Alright, so we can see the uh, naval vessels firing at them there. And the ground firing at them as well. Holy cow. Freaking nerves of steel up there. Just be sitting there flying straight like that. And I just spotted some more contacts on further east. Yeah, there they are. They are circling like buzzards. Let's, uh, hopefully we can take these guys out before we get in close contact with those other guys. We're having trouble ke catching up, like I said. Maybe if I get a little dive going, a little extra airspeed, we'll lose that altitude advantage, but maybe I can catch them. All right. Definitely don't want to fight a whole gaggle which is what is up ahead, a whole gaggle. Oh snap, yep, they're already getting in close. Let's go ahead and get ready to tell our guys to attack. Search for enemy aircraft. Free to engage. Yep. I think these over here are attack craft, looks like. But it's too late, we're already getting in, in contact range of these guys. So I guess I'll be going for them after all. All right, they're breaking. They see us. All right, these look like one nineties. All right, so we got one going to the left, three going to the right. I'm gonna go left. This one guy. Wow, it's a little bit laggy here. May have to turn off the recording. All right. Got 190. Oh, uh oh. I'm gonna hit the brakes. Don't let him get behind you. Don't let him get behind you. Oh, snap. 
He did get by you. Whoa! And he's shooting. Okay. He shot but missed. That's good. There's a couple other guys coming up. Oh, here he goes. He's going to pass right through her. Gunfire. Alright. I don't know if I got to hit on him or not. I'm about to stall. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. Well, I lost every single contact that we had out there. There's one. Okay. All right. Smokey. Smokey. Somebody coming around on me? Yep. Oh! Yeah, he is. Dang. And he got me. Pull hard. Pull hard. Not that hard. You're gonna freaking go into a spin. Oh, shoot. Two of them on me. Alright. Pull to the. Ugh. Okay. Looks like they might have failed for that. Keep going down. Okay, looks like they're off of me for the time being. They're trying to come back around. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the west. Alrighty, uh, boys. No. Attack air targets, please. Okay. I'm gonna get down as close as I can to the deck. See if I can lose these guys. Well, that was less than ideal. Okay. Nobody's going down. Besides me, I mean. Ah! Somebody else just shot me again. Okay. I guess I better eat grass out of here. Before I pass out and get shot down. Okay. There's somebody over there. Two behind me still. All right. Hopefully this is a friendly airfield. They can provide me with some cover. Okay. Whew. Wow. This turned into a cluster. You know what? Didn't it? Did I even get a shot off? I don't think I did. Uh, there's still three over here. They are not scared of me at all. I am scared of them, though. Ooh, mama. 
Yeah, he's coming around on me. Dang, these guys aren't playing. These guys are not playing. No, sir. Okay. Don't pass out, Dan. Okay, they're shooting at them. That's good. Maybe that'll distract them. Oh, he's coming on me. Uh, he's trying to get nose on. Okay, don't get nose on me. I can't get nose on him either, but that's okay. I'm just flying kind of defensively right now. Tried to turn it into an offensive move, but that did not work out. He's going up. Okay. Let's see if I can target this guy. Got him. Some peppered. Nothing major. Uh oh. Whoa. Don't don't stall. Alright. Where's the other two guys at? I'm going to tell my guys to attack again because they tend to forget to attack. There's somebody behind me. It's getting shot at. Okay. Randy's climbing. Don't think he's going for an aggressive stance towards me. Let's see if I can get these guys. I didn't get credit for that, but that's okay. That was awesome. I might have to sit down here at this airfield, depending on how much damage I have here. Not looking good for me right now, honestly. Okay. If I go for this guy, this other guy's gonna drop on me and get me. So. And if I go for this guy, he this guy's gonna come around on me and get me. So decisions, decisions. I have to hopefully depend on my AA there to help me out. I'm gonna go for this guy. All right, no hand holding. Uh oh, don't stall. All right, this guy, that guy got shot by the AA, so he's wounded. Might be able to finish him if I can get nose on here. Nope, I can't freaking do anything. Ugh. How badly is this plane wounded? No. Got more company though. Can't tell if they're friendly or foe. This guy's about as jacked up as I am. Hey, hey, hey. Watch out now. Don't hit friendlies. Okay. Somebody went down. Somebody's directly above me. It didn't seem like anybody's directly behind me at the moment. I might go pound this guy here. Okay. He's running east. 
see if we can stop him. Take, take some long shots here. That guy is behind me now. Oh, and he just got his wings clipped. Quite literally. All right. I can bring it around on this guy then. Well, I'm not going to get credit for any kills, but I might actually live. Be a miracle in and of itself. Considering I jumped into a freaking hornet's nest here. All right. Don't go. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Don't show your head to him. Okay, he's trying to come around. Where is he? Okay. Holy crap. Okay. Let's see if I can get on him. Get nose on. Man, that AA is close. Turn my lights on. Let I know not shoot at me, please. P-51 silhouette looks very similar to a 109. Okay, don't stall. Okay, 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 okay. Nah, my plane is not in good shape. Not at all. And the frame rate is lousy right now. Well, I guess it's not that bad. 58. Feels a lot slower. Maybe it's just the uh, CPU slowing down here. I'm definitely getting the oil on my windscreen. So, definitely have an oil leak, which means the engine is not long for this world. All right. Yeah, we are in bad, bad shape. I'm going to see if I can get this guy down, and then we're going to try to put this bird down themselves. Here at this friendly airfield here. Okay. Hi. Slow motion time, huh? Okay. I may have to just set it down regardless. I see something else over there and I don't think it's friendly. Oh, it is friendly. Nice. Okay. I got two friendly birds in the sky with me. My buddies are finally here, I guess. Okay. That friendly over there. That is like a P-51 to me. All right. Okie dokie, Smokey. All right, let's see if I can go end over end here. Uh, nice and easy. Let 
Here we go. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, he lost it. Don't worry about it. Pull out of it. Pull out of it now. Come on, Dan. You got it. Okay. Yeah, it's really pulling hard to the to the left here. So I think it's time to set her down. I really don't need to be dogfighting in this thing. And yet, going back for more, aren't you? My gauges are stuck. Stuck at uh, 60 inches of mercury. <laughs> I don't know what the heck my engine is at. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Let's just see if I can bring her around at the fly-by sound, I guess. Throttle position. And then lost steam. Where'd he go? That's a uh, Mustang. Okay. That's Mustang. Where's the fuck wolf? There he is. Okay. He's trying to get nose on. AA is lighting him up. My engine is about to quit. It's starting to rattle. So I'm just going to start preparing for a landing here. Flaps. Extend. Yeah, he's coming around to see if he can bust me. Tower, check to see if my landing gear is intact. This is Warcraft 1. Over. Is my landing gear fully extended? Over. Oh, snap! Doesn't matter, I'm going, I'm going in. Warcraft <laughs> leader's on the ground, wounded again. Holy smokes. Oh my god. He shot me while I was on my landing approach there. Holy cow. I'm barely holding on to consciousness right now. I don't know if that was caught on camera, unfortunately. Oh my god. <laughs> another another Mustang wrecked by Dan Valentine. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. I'm pretty sure number B is uh, a goner. Alright. He's decided to leave, I guess. He's, he's, uh, not in bad shape. All right, I had an emergency landing. Uh, no kills for me. Take a look at the events log. We flew south to Cherbourg, and uh, there was some fighting down here. And uh, over here, we uh, lost a P-51 to an enemy, and I was shot down by 190, and two 190s were shot down by AAA. So. Start our debrief. Uh, Stephen Patron was killed in action. Okay. Um, I didn't get anything. Right, I was seriously wounded again. Oh my gosh. My gosh. Seriously wounded. Two aircraft were lost. B and K. B was mine, of course. All right. Dan Valentine has been seriously injured in combat. He will be unavailable for an extended period of time. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So, uh, Reginald got the bronze star. Steam Patron got the purple heart. I am in a wheelchair here. Let's see how long it will take for, oops, for our leave. Uh, 70 days. 70 days. Oh my gosh. I guess we might as well do it. Freaking war is going to be over by the time we get recovered here. 70 days. Oh my god. That's a... Oh, Dan has had a pretty rough 
time of it. But at least maybe we'll be in France by the time the 70 days is up and our flight times won't be quite as long. I want to fly as far across the channel. So, let's see what happens in these 70 days. That's what we're going to be doing, and I uh, hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.